Hello, 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 my friends. Happy Sunday evening. I am so excited that you are here with me tonight. So as you guys are tuning in, share with us where you're visiting from. Let us know what's going on in your neck of the world, my friends. I'm Tanner Bell, founder of MakersGonnaLearn.com, your number one digital die cutting membership to teach you exactly how to master your machine. We are so thrilled to be here tonight. And boy, oh boy, I am glad to be back. I don't know about you guys, but I am so excited to be here with you and feel totally myself. And it is going to be so much fun. If you guys have not been following along, we have had a crazy past week here in the Makers Gonna Learn community, but we've really been having a lot of fun ever since. I don't know. We've been having fun here on this corner of the internet for so long. But first things first, I want to welcome the over 20,000 brand new YouTube subscribers that have joined our cricket community in the last, oh my gosh, I think in over like 30 days, we have grew this community so far. So as you guys are tuning in with us, go ahead, share with us where you're visiting from. Tonight, we have a very different live stream because I know a lot of you guys are here tonight and it may be your first time opening your cricket. You may not have a cricket yet. You may be thinking about your cricket. So as you guys are tuning in, share with us where you're visiting from, whether you have been a friend of mine and the YouTube channel for years, or maybe you have just joined us a day or two ago. We are so excited to hang out with you tonight. I truly am so excited. This morning in the Makers Gonna Learn Facebook group, we had the privilege to give away a Cricut Maker. I was so excited and congratulations to Brandy Lynn, um, a Makers Gonna Learn member, to take the 12th and final 12 days of giveaways at Makers Gonna Learn. So, hey, Susan. Hey, Spiritually Woke. Hey, Melinda, Brenda, Jessica, Sherry. Hello, my friends. I'm so excited to be here with you guys tonight. And yes, we are doing much better. Yes, I love it. Catherine, there is a button you can press to go full screen if you don't want to see the comments. So, yay, I love it. Oh, my goodness. We are feeling much better. Um, and it's so fun. Pretty new, but was recommended by a friend when I got a cricket in July. Congratulations. Oh my goodness. First of all, again, welcome everyone. I am so excited. Tonight we're talking five things I wish I knew when I bought my cricket. Okay. Y'all, I have notes for tonight's live stream. I literally have notes. So we're so excited. I have five things that I want to share with you guys because I know that if I share these, that you're going to have you know, transformations, or you're going to hopefully, you know, be able to, from knowing, like, here's the five things I wish I knew so that you guys are not going to feel as overwhelmed, as frustrated as I know you can be in the crafting process. Like, I think the number one thing that we need to realize here is just because we get frustrated, overwhelmed, anything like that, X, Y, or Z, um, that doesn't mean you can't have great crafts. That doesn't mean, you know, just because you have a craft bell does not mean you're going to always have a craft bell because we're here and we're going to rock it together. Am I right? Um, I have the first Cricut. Yay, Suzette. <gasps> Jeanette, I ordered my Cricut maker. It's arriving Tuesday. Congratulations. And guys, one of my favorite things about tonight is it's not a webinar. I've not prepared a hundred notes for this. I've literally wrote down five different bullet points and we're going to dive into them. We're going to share them. And I think it's going to be a great conversation. So consider this a podcast. If you're brand new here, I don't even know. Um, Megan is so frustrated. Kay Jordan's been a member for over a year and Susan just got her cricket. Congratulations. I literally love this time of year. It's our busiest season here. So uh, we want to be here nonstop, just pouring into you guys. You know what I'm saying? Annette has had one for two years and just started using it. Now, before we get into it, I'm so thrilled to have you guys here tonight, but I want to share, you guys know, I love my 30 day challenge because I've been able to see time and time again, people that are having breakthroughs in this program. This is a $97 value, 30 day challenge, 30 videos, you get a, a printable ebook, so awesome the things you learn in this and it's included in our year membership our year membership is forty dollars off and get grandfathered in this gives you access to four thousand cut files over 500 fonts this printable um ebook and the 30 videos 
access to our member-only Facebook group. Guys, we're almost to nine, 10,000 members. We're at 9,000, almost to 10,000 active members and makers going to learn. So we would love for you to be a Best Value Year member today. The best deal is ending the day after Christmas. So if you are not getting your membership at this rate, you need to grab it while it's hot. Grandfathered in, lowest price of the year, and we are so excited. So it is going to be amazing. If you want this, this is what I would recommend because I'm going to share with you five things I wish I knew tonight when I bought my Cricut, but this is going to teach you everything you need to know. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys need this, um, definitely first link down below. I'll drop the link for you guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. So it is normally our year membership is normally $191 a year. Tonight, using the coupon code BEST at checkout, you can save $40 every single year um, and you would pay $151. That's going to give you a full year, a full 365 of crafting with the entire Makers to Learn team. So yay, we have new releases, new cut files, fonts, projects every Thursday, um, plus you get the training. So yay, I love it. Kay Jordan says, get the year membership, so worth it. We are so, so excited. Sandra Walters, where is Sandra's comment? Oh, yes, I need my yearly membership. Yes, you all do. So definitely something to invest in, something to save for. But I just like to share that in the beginning so that we can dive in and talk about the crafting. Because I truly believe after having a cricket for the past, oh my goodness, I've had a cricket, guys, I've had a cricket since 2010. I was a baby when I got my first cricket, and that's why this entire journey is so fun, and we love doing this. So Susan just got their membership. Woohoo! Go Susan! Go Susan! Donna S says I printed my thirty day challenge booklet yesterday. Love it! Oh, I love that. Cheryl loves her cricket too. Well, guys, I do want to share with you real quick some of uh, testimonial because this is so good um, about our amazing, amazing thirty day challenge. We've seen some real good breakthroughs about with this program, and that's why we're so excited to have you guys here. Um, so what I want to share with you guys is a few testimonials that I got to um, read. Inez comment and said, love it, was up till past midnight watching after work. This thing is making breakthroughs, y'all. We then had Gracie say, can I just ask, would it be wrong if I finished the 30-day challenge in one day? So good. And then Dana says, new member of last week. She joined right before Black Friday. She was really enjoying the 30 days to master your cricket videos. And she was learning a lot. And her very first project was the Simply Blessed Sign. So good. Um, and she says, thanks, y'all. If you're thinking about becoming a member, just do it. So that is from True members in the community, which we're so excited about. But okay, y'all, if you have any questions tonight, please drop them in the comments. We are so, so excited. Um, hope it's beginner friendly. Yes, it is. <gasps> Carla, I just became a member during your Black Friday deal. I got a Cricut Air 2 almost three years ago and haven't used it. <gasps> your membership is going to help me become less intimidated. Carla, that is our goal. And that is our mission here at Makers Gonna Learn. Makers Gonna Learn is the number one place to get inspiration, education, and motivation to use your cricket. I truly believe it. And that is what our goal and mission is all about. So let's dive in to, I'll have one more comment. I've been a member for three years. Best value ever. Glad you all are feeling better. This past week was lonely. We missed you guys too. So I'm glad to be here. But let's go ahead and dive into it. I'm Tanner Bell, founder of Makers and Learn. If you didn't already know, I literally just have a passion to share my craft, share my tips, and share the, the love of crafting. So that's my mission here. That's our entire goal here at Makers and Learn. But tonight, I want to take you back 10 years ago, five years ago, three, four years ago when I got the Cricut Maker specifically, and talk to you guys about five things I wish I knew before I bought my Cricut. Okay. So let's go ahead. Are you guys ready to start with number one? Now I do love keeping you guys engaged because it's the best way to do it. So if you guys are ready for number one, drop number one in the comments so that we know that you guys are here, active and ready to um, chat it up about some experiences. So all you need to do is just drop a number one in the comments. The more comments I get, the more value you get. It's a win-win. 
because I'm here as long as y'all are here. <laughs> okay, lots of number ones. Oh my gosh, Erica. Hi, Tanner. Just fo started following you yesterday from California. I'm still new to using my Cricut and just started to play with vinyl. I'm so excited. Okay, yay, number one. Alexander still is already ready for number two, so you got to slow down. Got to slow it down, <laughs> but okay, my friends, let's go ahead and dive in to number one. This is something that I want to talk about very seriously because this is something that even myself um, kind of got frustrated with and really confused when I first got my cricket. Okay, number one, and I'm going to say this as me, but you guys need to just like repeat it. Okay, I should not assume I know how to use it yet. <laughs> okay. How many of us raise your hand if you take this machine out of the box and you have a self-assumption because you can use Microsoft Word, you can print things off the internet, you can use Facebook, that you're going to know how to use your Cricut. Because that was me. That literally was me. I was like, Psh, I can cut vinyl. I can cut paper. I can do all this with my Cricut. Raise your hand if that was me. Was that you? Because that was me too. And I think for any Cricut newbie out there, you know, obviously that has the excitement and the love in their eyes and just the excitement right here. They, you need to know that if you are starting with all the love and excitement, I want you to go ahead and say, Tanner, it's okay because I might get a little overwhelmed. Okay. I want you guys to know it is okay if you're overwhelmed in the beginning, because this is a whole new software. This is a whole new atmosphere, okay? This is like going to get an Xbox and expect to, expect to be able to play the games that your kids can thrive at. You know what I'm saying? This is a whole new, whole new environment, and you've got to be ready for that. So yes, the excitement's good. Yes, you're going to love your machine. But first, you may have to overcome some hurdles. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Tanner, I'm a little, a lot overwhelmed. And that's okay. If you are still overwhelmed, that is okay. Because we are going to kind of talk about what we can do to overcome that overwhelm. Okay? What I love to tell people when they come to me and they say, Tanner, I'm overwhelmed. I like to slow it down, break it down, start at the basics. You are not supposed to be making award-winning cricket projects right out of the gate. It's okay. What we want to do is first say, hey, I'm going to be overwhelmed. I'm going to, I'm definitely going to overcome this. But what I'm going to do is give myself grace, first of all, always, always. But second of all, we're going to go ahead and say, we're going to allot a little bit of supplies to play around with. I'm not going to expect the first cut to be perfect. I'm not going to expect the first time that I weed. And raise your hand if you were like, what's weed? Weed is so different. I don't even know what weeding is. Like, is this normal? You're going to get your grip down. And I think the more videos you watch and the more times you listen to me talk about burnishing on the mat, weeding on the mat. I saw some people talking about how they have their notepad out tonight, y'all. If you do, weed on the mat. You can quote this as from me. Weeding on the mat is your third hand, okay? Because when you leave the vinyl on the mat, it becomes your third hand. That's something they don't teach you. That's something they don't teach you in the manual. That's why you can't read the manual. You just got to hang out with us. Um, <laughs> and of course, when you get started with your machine, you do want to make sure you're able to work it. I've mastered reverse weeding. Woohoo! I love that. I love that. So the membership is for the year. So if you go best value, you're getting the 30 day challenge for free today. It's included in the year membership. In addition to the thousands of cut files, fonts, member only Facebook group, and so much more. So you're going to really love that. Um, oh, Tanner, you made me buy my maker. Is that a good thing? I hope so. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Bought more mats with extra grip. I love it. I love it. 
I'm watching YouTube videos on using the Cricut. Yay, to make planner stickers. Woo I love that. Um, but yes, so first of all, you know, let's go back. If you're just tuning in with me, we're talking five things. I wish I knew when I bought my machine. And number one is I should not assume I know how to use it yet because this is something that I definitely struggled with. Um, and it made me frustrated and it made me not want to open the box. So I want to acknowledge that and speak towards that because I want you guys to know that I've kind of walked where you've been. I understand what it's like to be so excited yet so frustrated at the same time. It definitely, my maker wants me to, wants to make me cry. Ariana, I'm so glad you're here because whatever you're struggling with, we probably have a YouTube video to support it as well as a community you can join to help you every step of the way. So we're so excited. I was surprised that when I got my maker that the standard grip was not included. So I believe with the maker today, you get a light grip and you get a fabric grip. I love the light grip mat. I think it's a very underused mat. I definitely think the light grip mat is underused. I can cut everything I want on that light grip mat. So it's super awesome. Hey, Rachel. Yes. Uh, Spiritually Woke says, I felt like I was in school again when I purchased my Air 2 a year ago. Every day I get up and go to class. Yes. And I think in tonight's training or in tonight's chat, we are going to talk about the things that I would like to learn for you as a beginner to learn first. So if I could go back and reteach myself what I'm going to learn first, we're going to talk about that. So stay tuned. Um, but it is so, so good. Tell us color for light grip. Light grip is light blue. Standard grip is green. Fabric grip is pink. Strong grip is purple. Okay. And you may be saying like, Tanner, how am I going to keep up with that and everything like that? What I want you to do is if you're needing to know everything about supplies, tools, accessories on, let's see what day that would be. Do, 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 do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Around day nine or 10 in the table of contents, you can see on page 12, um, you will get a look at Cricut supplies. So if we just flip to page 12, you're going to see exactly how to understand all of the different Cricut supplies, tools, and so much more you're going to need. It's so good. Extra cutting mats, you know, Rachel talks towards that. You're going to want a lot grip mat as well. You know, all the different things. We talk all about, you know, a deeper dive into Cricut design space. There is so much fun. So if you guys are like Tanner, I love, love, love the book you're talking about. Guys, this is a new training program we came out with if you get your year membership, $97 value included in the year membership. So um, it's the only place you can get it is being a best value year member. Um, so yay, yes, 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 first timer. Welcome Victor, awesome, awesome. Um, so that is fantastic. What do I need to know about maintaining my Cricut? Chrissy, I'm gonna answer your question and then we're going to dive in to number two. So if you're excited for number two, Go ahead and drop number two here in the comments. Also, for everyone commenting that I look healthy, I love you guys. I made a latte right before I went live because I knew we were going to be hanging out a lot. But I also have on my to-do list to go to bed at 1130. So it's not 19. Mm. Okay. One question about maintaining your Cricut. You are going to want to do a little bit of maintenance to the Cricut, as in cleaning her out, making sure it's good to go, replacing your blades. Replacing your blades are number one. So making sure, I just had to grab the machine. <laughs> making sure you're ready to replace these bad boys, super important. So what you do, look at this right here. Oh my, <laughs> okay. This is another thing, making sure your blade is clean. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. Also, look at my CrossFit hands. Like, my calluses are healed because I've been in quarantine, um, but I'm heading back to the gym soon. So this right here, two. there's a two steps to this. First, make sure your blade is clean because this dirty blade ain't going to cut nothing. Um, I'm trying to see what I'd cut. Looks like to be a lot of black cardstock from Halloween. Um, but second of all, the blade gets 
super dull. So you can sharp resharpen this with like stabbing it with tin foil. That is only like putting duct tape on something. Replace your blades depending on how much you use it. Makers gonna learn changes their blades two or three weeks, but we're cutting multiple things a day. If you use your Cricut once a week, twice a week, I would replace it every other month. You know what I mean? Anyway, you push the button, you pull the blade out, and voila. It's a magnet, so that's how it sticks in there. Um, and this is what a blade looks like. So you can clean it with paper towel just to make sure nothing's on it. Much cleaner now and really easy. So then you can just kind of press the button again, place the blade back in there, and the magnets kind of just take it. It is super sharp, so be careful. Um, and voila. Look at how much cleaner. That's a bonus tip. Whoever asked about maintaining their blade, oh my goodness, what a great video. And yes, 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 there are videos on maintaining your um, your machine in here that goes into like deep, thorough things about that. So please do not, please replace your blades more than every 10 years, Suzette. Yes. <laughs> Compressed air is literally my favorite thing. So Inside the machine, on the pieces, any of the air, canned air is amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, so we're, we love that. We love, love, love that. Um, okay. Y'all already dropped all the good things on number two. I talked to you guys about how I wanted to make sure that if I could go back and start from the beginning, what I would learn first. What are the core pieces of Cricut that I wish I knew so that I could master every single project that I could have in my back pocket and have that knowledge to pull out every single time I open design space. So I wanted to bring that to you guys because for the ones that are talking tonight saying, Tanner, I'm still overwhelmed. Tanner, I need to conquer these things, but I don't know where to go. The basics are always the best place to start. So if you have not invested in a course, in a program, I highly recommend to invest tonight in a year with us because that's going to give you the education today, the basics. That's going to give you the motivation tomorrow and the inspiration to continue on for a full 365 and make all the projects that you want. And today, y'all, it is um, $40 off for the best value. So the deal is ending. The Christmas sale will be ending. Um, the year membership is normally $191, but today you can get it for $151. So $40 off using the best code. So just enter BEST at checkout. So woohoo. Okay. Number two, if I could go back and relearn or start from the beginning of my learning, what would I learn first? So the first things that I would learn and this is the first things I teach in almost any beginner class. This right here. I hope you got your pen and paper out because here we go. I would learn group, attach, weld. I'm going to say it again. Group, attach, weld. Before I learned anything else, I wish I knew this. These three simple things in Cricut Design Space before I did anything else, okay? Group attach weld. The reason why is because these three different items are going to make or break a majority of your Cricut projects due to the fact that those three elements are right in the core of Cricut design space. You're going to use those three tools all across the board. And then contour. Yes, Ali, I love it. Jensen just discovered weld. Guys, this is big. This is big, big, big. Um, I need help with sloss. Guys, if you are thinking about sloss, think of it as a cookie cutter. You can only sloss two layers at a time because you can only use a cookie cutter. One, two at a time. You got your, your piece of paper, you got your, you got your cookie dough, and then you have your, your cookie cutter. You know what I'm saying? So you have to think of it like that. Attach, they give a paper clip as the reference image when it comes to attach. Do you want to know the reason why it's a paper clip? 
I'm just going to, I'm going to start from the beginning. Group, attach, weld. There's also a reason why you learn them in that order. Group, attach, weld. Number one, group. Group is literally only for on the canvas. When you click make it, it does not do a hill of beans for your project. Okay. Group is only for organizing your layers on the canvas. Nothing else. <laughs> okay. If you're taking notes, that's a great way to kind of explain it. I'm so, so excited. Um, so I'm excited that you guys are taking notes and understanding exactly why you only need group when you're working with multi-layer pieces that are all different colors. So be sure about that. Yes. Oh my gosh. Becca did a great visual for weld and attach. She did cursive and showed it what? as draw, then showed attach, and then welded. Such an amazing visual. Yes, I love that. I love, love, love that. Um, so second, attach. Attach is a paper clip. So I see so many people on accident kerning letters. And you may be saying, Tanner, what is kerning letters? That's for another day, another dollar, another, another day. <laughs> Okay. Kerning is really good to make professional projects, my friends. And that's really letter spacing. So we're rearranging letters, making them look hand lettered, unique, right? After you do all that hard work on the canvas, the amount of people I see attach it rather than weld it is unbelievable. The cool thing about attach is that it can be undone. The bad thing about attach is if you have two layers overlapping and they're not able and you only attach them, the Cricut is still go cut those lines. It's not go make it a perfect image like it looks like on the, um, the map, which can be frustrating, okay? And then lastly, weld. Once you're able to weld layers together, guys, you are going to be like an engineer. You're going to be able to create your own shapes. Do you know how many times we use basic shapes? Like you could use just circles and create a scallop circle really easily. You can turn, you know, your own cards in, you can create your own card bases. There's so, so much, so, so much. <laughs> Beth, hot <hot> toller. <laughs> you crack me up, I love it. Um, I watched a video today where you were talking about one word in text box and how you welded the words and they look so much better after being welded. Sandra, yes. So that's another hack. For perfect positioning, I like to use every word in its own. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So got the group, the weld, not sure about attach, Rita. Attach is literally, it's going to keep everything together on the mat and on the canvas. So where group is just going to show it before you press make it. Attach is going to bring it over onto the canvas and the map. So let's go cut out. A great example that I like to use attach for is when you have, you know, different layers. So say, say you have like this right here where it's all these different paintbrushes. Now for us, this is a maker's gonna learn cut file. All this is actually, all this beautiful craft room stuff is beautiful. Um, but if you were going to take that piece and say it was only one little paintbrush and just duplicate it and arrange it to be in that order, you would need to attach it first before you send it over to the mat. Because what happens here, and I hope I'm not losing you guys, I was debating doing a share screen, but long story, the studio is not set up for it. Um, if you make it look really pretty on your canvas, and you press make it, and then you look at your mat and you're like, this is not what I just spent 10 minutes setting it up on the canvas to do. That's when you select it and attach it. So, and that way you can undo it later if you wanna move things around, because if you welded it, it would be permanent. So I hope that makes sense, my friends. I hope that makes sense. Um, I attach letters when they aren't cursive, so they stay together on the mat, but I can change the text later. Allie, Allie's killing it, y'all. Shout out to Allie. Melissa, I wish my phone would alert me when there's a live. I signed up to be notified, but it doesn't notify me. I'm so, so sorry, Melissa. 
Um, there is a Bluetooth adapter for that machine. Um, there's a bl there's built-in Bluetooth on any Cricut from the Cricut Air to the Cricut Air 2 to the Cricut Maker. The original Cricut Explorer does not have Bluetooth, but there are adapters you could purchase for it. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Yes. I feel much better. Oh, Jana, Jana says, no, this is great. Thanks. Oh. Megan says, you like StarCraft HD vinyl. Yes. That, I'm actually going to be talking about that on number four. So stick with me, my friends here. Stick with me. Um, who is excited for number three? So if you're just tuning in with us, I'm Tanner, founder of Makers and Miller, and we are talking five things I wish I knew when I bought my Cricut. We're just chatting away. We're on to secret number three. It's not really a secret. On to number three. I'm going to get a drink of water too. Yay, learn something new about attaching weld. Thanks, I've had to redo not everything, re having to redo everything because I weld it. Bonus hack, me and Rachel talk about it. So does Becca, we all talk about it. Um, if you ever think you're going to want to modify something about your Cricut project before welding it, duplicate it and hide the layer. So hide the layer about that. And for number three, I want to give visual representation. So hold on. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, y'all. I'm so happy that I have this here. So this is my actual at-home craft room and I left the door open. Oh my goodness. All right, all right, all right, all right. If you guys have not watched the tour and the transformation of how we built this craft room, it's such a practical craft room. I love it. I have a craft table right here, and then I have the, these built-ins. They're amazing. We're, we just love them. So anyway, um, number three, I wish I knew the difference between vinyl versus heat transfer vinyl or iron-on. Now, I'm going to just debrief on the heat transfer vinyl HTV or iron-on saga real quick. If you guys know anything about Apple products, Apple kind of takes something normal and makes it their own. For example, this charger. Have you ever seen a charger like this on anything besides an Apple product? No. What you could also use for that is a micro USB. So if you have an Android, micro USB is very normal. Apple kind of takes everything normal and tweaks it and makes it their own. What is different about Cricut is that they do the same thing. They take something like heat transfer vinyl that has been around for years and they create their own thing called iron-on. It's the same thing as heat transfer vinyl. I hope you guys understand iron-on from Cricut and heat transfer vinyl is the same thing. Like I wish it was clear I wish it was easy for people to understand, but I always see people lost. And I feel like that's a basic thing that even I myself was confused about as a cricket newbie. So that's first thing. But then here you go. You now are buying vinyl that looks like this. You've got a dull side, you got a shiny side. But then you're also buying vinyl that has this behind it. You've got the, you've got the grid, you've got just vinyl, and it's confusing, okay? So who, so first of all, we've cleared up this right here is iron-on and it's a heat transfer vinyl or HTV for short. Okay, you've got this. This is good stuff. Now, people also talk about the price difference. You're going to pay a lot more for heat transfer vinyl rather than regular vinyl. And the way I tell it apart is just looking at the backs. So this is the backs. There's no grid. Vinyls always go have a grid. 
And I appreciate the brands that list what it is on it. So this is StarCraft permanent adhesive vinyl. This is good. So vinyl is always going to have the grid on the back, which is really just a quick way to look at it and say, this is vinyl. Okay. So um, this is really fun. And then heat transfer vinyl, HCV iron on is going to have a shiny, shiny side and a dull side. Some colors, you're going to have this white background like that you're going to weed off of. Because with heat transfer vinyl and iron on and HTV, if you're taking notes, please, please, please pull out the notepad. Put iron on slash HTV dot dot. Always mirror your images. Images, text, mirror everything. Because what's happening here, my friends, is that you are going to place it on the mat shiny side down. HTV is also more expensive than vinyl. Now, I don't know about you guys. Sometimes I need to convince myself why things are more expensive. My way of justifying paying more for heat transfer vinyl or iron on is that it has built-in transfer tape. Built-in transfer tape. Okay, <laughs> which is true. It does. It does. It does. This is very true. It is true that heat transfer vinyl has built in transfer tape. So what you're doing is you put it shiny side down on your mat. You're going to weed it. Okay. Then you're going to peel it up and it's going to have your transfer tape already there. It's fantastic. Now let's talk about our regular vinyl. Regular vinyl, you're not going to have to mirror. It's a beautiful thing. The difference here is that you're gonna put it down. Megan, I wish I could show an example. I, I wish I was at the studio, I'm so sorry. Um, with vinyl, you're gonna put it down just normal. You're gonna cut it vinyl side up, grid side down. You're going to then, here's my tips for um, as a newbie, what I would do when cutting vinyl. I would leave it on the mat. Both of these you leave on the mat and weed because we've already determined that our Cricut mat is our third hand. Always weed on the mat. I will I will debate this with the best Cricketers in the world. <laughs> um, so next, I take a burnishing tool. This could be a recycled gift card. This could be a um, any any tool, a spatula, you know, any scraper tool, anything like that. After it's cut, I burnish. I'm going to lightly. Make sure that vinyl is sticking to the backing, okay? And then I'm going to weed it. The way we weed here at Makers Gonna Learn is we start from an outer edge, peel up, and then we get the insert inside pieces, okay? Um, we also take a Cricut True Control knife and we cut out the edges to make sure we're saving as much vinyl as possible as much material as possible. Rebecca says weeding on the mat is the best advice ever. Yes. Rebecca says any advice on building a vinyl collection inexpensively? Y'all, let me give you the secrets. From a cricketer, from an avid crafter, I love to stock up on neutrals. Whites, blacks, grays, uh, browns, any color like that. And then you're going to easily find the colors you're going to want to invest in. Once you have your neutrals, you're going to quickly and easily find out what vinyl colors you're going to want to invest in. Ooh, rolls or sheets. I think rolls are more affordable. Um, so yes, I would definitely do um, rolls. And regular vinyl does not go on clothing. Heat transfer vinyl is heat transferred, okay? So this is, you know, going to stick permanently really well. And I've, I've had people ask the question, Tanner, do you prefer iron-on or vinyl for wood? I love iron-on. I love heat transfer vinyl for wood. Please, please, please go watch my video on ironing on wood. I have a lot of them. They're really good if you're interested once you're able to master ironing on wood, let me just, I'm going to try to, should I take it off a of frame? I think I can use this one. 
guys, I've been using a bottle of stain as a as a kickstand. So this is a frame you can build um, or buy. This right here, you're going to like. I just wish you could feel the quality that you get from ironing on wood. It's unbelievable. Regular vinyl, guys, can peel up off wood. Painted wood, especially, can peel up. Um, but iron oning, ironing on wood, game changer. Game changer. Tanner, have you ever had issues with HTV not sticking to the mat? I've got some Hobby Lobby HTV, and it won't even stick to my purple mat. That is really sticky. I've not had that issue in a long time. I'm wondering how old it would be. Hey, Sam. Oh, my goodness. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, if you're brand new to Cricut, if you're brand new to the Makers and Learn YouTube channel, will you go ahead and drop me a comment? Because I want to personally welcome you to our crafting community. Martha says, what about on a coffee mug? Martha, I have personally dishwasher, like used in the dishwasher, the vinyl. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anywho, I have personally used vinyl, just regular vinyl on a mug. And I love it. I highly recommend that. Okay, we have lots of new friends. Oh my goodness. Michelle Newby from Florida. Megan Newby. Hello, Liz Newby. And I'm enjoying this live. Newby. Hello, Candace. Hello, Tiffany. Faith. Three Key Mom. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my goodness. Welcome, welcome. I just signed up last week. Welcome, welcome. Martha Newby. Dana Newby. Diane, Susan, Stephanie, Becky. Oh, I've been watching your videos for months, but this is my first live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Really enjoying. Yay. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hello from Dallas. Chelsea's a newbie. Rose is a newbie. Andrew's welcoming everyone. Y'all, such a good group. Oh, it's Nicole created my first live. Also, welcome. New from Detroit. D Joseph, what is up? I love it. Do you do sublimation? We really want to do sublimation, so we don't do it yet. <laughs> Welcome, newbies. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Marissa, welcome. Newbie from Oregon. Tammy says, newbie, just got my cricket in the box. <gasps> We've got to get it out of the box. Oh, my gosh. Y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all. If you're not considering to not getting the best deal of the year, the 30-day challenge, plus a whole year crafting with us, I really, really want you guys to consider that. And we'll talk more about it later on in the live because we have more to talk about. Let's recap where we're at. Number one, I shouldn't assume I know how to use my Cricut yet. Okay. If you're overwhelmed, that's okay. We're going to conquer everything one step at a time. Number two, learning group, attach, and weld. I wish I learned that first. Okay. Number three, I wish I knew as a beginner the difference between heat transfer vinyl and vinyl. And that's been a fun chat because we've got to talk a lot about it. Um, so good. I love all these newbies. Newbies from Troy, Missouri. Yay. I'm in the Dominican Republic. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness. I love it. First time live with you. Love your tutorials. Just got my maker a month ago. Annette, welcome, welcome. Yay. I love it. Newbie from Maine just got the maker. Congratulations, Cecilia. Yay. Okay. Can we change step number one to take your machine out of the box? <laughs> I love it. That is a big one. I personally, oh, I just purchased the year membership. So I guess I will finally use this machine. Rochelle, Yes, we are going to master it together. If you just got that year membership, start, click on courses after you get plugged in. Click the master your 30 day challenge because guess what, y'all? Day number one, opening your cricket. Rachel opens the cricket with you and shares with you exactly what's in the box. It's so empowering because you, this is self paced. So you're going to be able to refresh about this. You're going to be able to layer HTV, layer vinyl, iron on wood work with HTV, working with adhesive vinyls, the difference between all the different tops, print and cut, printable vinyl, printable HTV, and so much more. 
Yay, Penny, welcome. I love it. I love it. Yes, this is an amazing, amazing offer and it's ending soon. So if you want to get in and master your machine with us, as this is not a new program, Makers Can Learn has been around for years. We are, um, we founded in 2017. So 2018, 2019, we're three years old um, and it is so fantastic. We have over 9,000 active monthly, six month or yearly members. But the secret here is out of the 9,000 members we have, 7,000 plus of them go yearly because you pay the least and you get the most. And that's the secret about our business is that if you say yes, that you invest in us, we pour into you. And that's what we love. So yay. If you're a member, is this free? So if you're a year member, this is a bonus. This is a bonus for you to say yes to membership. Makers Can Learn is also the only membership out there that gives you education, motivation, and inspiration. You're going to get over 4,000 cut files. Our library is huge. You're going to get over 500 fonts. We love them. Um, and you get the training. So it's so, so good. New member, just got the year membership and will finally master my cricket. Loving you guys. You're such a family. Y'all, that is number one here is that we want you guys to feel, you know, welcome and warm because it can be so frustrating when you get a machine to not know where to go to. This is a caramel latte. Ice latte. I made it myself. Mm -mm. Guys, I was able to get this done in a print shop for like $18. Unbelievable. Yay. Sharon, if you have a question about that, you can email hi at makersgonnalearn.com. They will be able to check your account because you also can grandfather yourself in if you're not already going to renew at the best rate. So yay, I love it, I love it. Oh my goodness, I missed how to get the book. This is a bonus if you get the year membership. So if you say yes to year membership, use the coupon code BEST at checkout. You're going to save $40 today. So yay. Okay, y'all, we've got a lot more to cover because we're only to number four. So if you're ready to continue on to secret number four about the five things I wish I knew when I bought my Cricut, go ahead and drop me a number four in the comments while I get a drink of water. My daughter now wants to join. I told her to do it while the sale is on. Yes, you need to get your membership while it's on sale. The offer is ending. Um, our Christmas sale is ending soon. So do not miss out. If you want to master your machine, if you want a community of people that love to inspire and uplift and help you in your crafting journey, I highly, highly recommend you go for it. Oh my gosh, you guys are ready for number four. And number four is a good one. Caroline says, hey newbies, the year membership is so worth it. I've been a member for three years. It's the best community. We love Caroline. Hello. Okay, y'all, are you ready for number four? Number four is one of my faves. And this is what I wish I knew sooner. So backstory for me, personal Cricut journey here. Um, Cricut hired me to actually help launch the Cricut Maker as a freelance content creator back in April before the machine launched. The machine launched in August of 2017. I started working on the project maybe April. So for a few years, I like worked exclusively for Cricut. So I didn't get to work with any other material, any other machine, any other anything. Okay. Um, about two years after the machine launch, we ended up not working together because I wanted to use other products and just be able to speak about the Cricut on a very authentic approach so that if there's a product Cricut comes out with that our community, you know, we just wouldn't feel intimidated or pressured to only talk about the highlights that we could also share some of the things that may not be perfect about all the Cricut products out there, whether it be a blade, a mat, whatever that would be. So after that brings us to number four. When I got the Cricut for the first time, I wish I knew that you can use other brands other than Cricut. And I do not say that with any negativity towards Cricut at all. They have the best die cutting machine on the market. I do believe that. They have amazing software. I do believe that but their consumable products don't always fall into the best price. They don't always have the best tools like weeding tools and different things like that. So number four 
I can use other brands than just Cricut related items. I think one of the reasons why if I was Cricut that I would create um, a product called Iron On rather than just use HTV is due to the fact that it will confuse customers um, to think they only can use Iron On. I think that's what the, the point of it would be. From my marketing standpoint, that's what I would, that would be the, the play I would have. Um, I also love transparency. Yes, I do love it. I love transparency. <gasps> Same updated to yearly now to open the box. Michelle, congratulations. Yes, I love it. I love it. And guys, I love being able to work directly for you guys. Um, our membership is the number one way how we get to show up and show out every single day on this channel. We have nine full-time employees that work 100% to serve you guys. From our customer service, to our craft producers, to our creative team, um, to our marketing team, and more. Um, it is so good. <laughs> Mandy says, you should make this less boring. Mandy, this is a craft chat. You should be glad I'm live at nine, almost 10 o'clock at night, because I could be sitting on my couch watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> Do you all have a Facebook group? We have a Facebook group for members. It's an amazing community. Um, once you join at a monthly, six month or yearly tier, you will get access to the Facebook group and our team works hard to maintain it, which means answer your questions, keep it a positive place and so much more. Um, yay. Love it. Love it. Oh my goodness. Um, should I get the maker for jewelry? If you are wanting to um, cut leather and cut different materials to make jewelry, yes, I would definitely think it would be fantastic. All oh, your customer service is spectacular. Yay. Okay. You all are wanting to know about our amazing weeding tools. I love the pin pin tool for detailed weeding. It's fantastic. It's linked down below. Um, it's from 143 Vinyl. And it's awesome. And it's a really all around great process because it has a lifetime warranty, um, which no other weeding tools go have a lifetime warranty. So yay, I love that. Just joining, what is the membership process? Alma, if you're joining the year membership so you can get the Master Your Cricut 30-day challenge included, you'll want to go best value. That's going to give you a commercial license to make money with your machine using our artwork and fonts, the 30 day challenge, a whole year crafting with us. Today's price in normally would be $191.88. Today's price, you get it for $151.88. So you get to be a member for an entire year, um, which is fantastic. So $151.88 divided by 365 days is 41 cents a day. It's an incredible value because we release new cut files and new trainings and everything um, every Thursday. So super fun. Why do I see people ironing on glasses and wood? Julie, I love to iron on wood. I'm not so much glasses, but some people do. So yay is HTV. Um, I realized yesterday I didn't have to buy Cricut paper and that there was way more out there. Susan, I have to say there are so many amazing paper brands out there other than Cricut. Although Cricut paper is okay. Um, Darlene just signed up. So excited to get going. Yay. Just got a Cricut to use on my woodworking channel. Liked your Harbor Freight tool video. Steve, thanks so much for hanging out. Um, I'll have to check out your channel um, because I think you'll like your Cricut. But yes, the Harbor Freight hacks. Y'all, you can save a lot of money getting weeding tools at Harbor Freight, like a few bucks. Yay. Yolanda says, I've gotten the year membership, but wasn't able to print the challenge. Does it come with the membership? Yes, my friend. If you need help accessing it, email hi at makerslearn.com and we'll send you direct access and give some additional help. So yay. Somebody answer me. I don't know what this is. Jack, leave your question again and we'll try to answer it. Um, is Caesar okay to use? Yes. Do you have to seal vinyl? No. <laughs> this is a crazy one. Do you have to seal vinyl? No. It's adhesive based. Some people do. Some projects, I will recommend it. But on our videos, we let you know when you need to seal it and when you don't. Evelyn, first time catching you live. Just signed up for the membership. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yay. 
I bought a Cricut maker for my daughter and I've been watching your videos so I can help her get the necessary tools. Woohoo! Just bought all the weeding tools. Go Suzette! Yes! Okay, so we have talked about number four about we can clearly use other brands of paper, weeding tools, vinyl, heat transfer vinyl, all sorts of things for the Cricut. But do you want to know what secret number five is? If you guys want to know what secret number five is, we have 447 beautiful people here tonight and we want to make sure that you guys get the training and get everything that you guys need. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about number five and then we're going to open it up for all the questions that you all may have because I think it's really practical. Lori, you're adorable. I love your enthusiasm. Got Explorer 2 Black Friday. I love my Explorer 2. It's so fun. I have the Martha Stewart edition and it's my favorite Cricut I own. I literally did this craft room and I snatched Martha's machine for my office because <laughs> I love it. It's my favorite. Um, I also want the black one. I really should get the black one to put down here. Um, and a secret is you can be a member to Makers Gonna Learn and do not have to have a Cricut maker. It is for every single die cutting machine out there. Um, any Cricut you'll love. So yay. Okay. I have the black one. It's so sleek and nice. Nicole, I'm so jealous. Okay. You all have put number five in the comments. I was so excited for this one. This one's a big one because it's so true. And this is one that I had to kind of swallow my pride <laughs> and do myself. And this is number five. It's okay to ask for help. Guys, this is a huge one that for some reason, I just literally spent so much time stewing online, browsing YouTube videos, doing all the crazy madness in the world. Okay. That is fine. But to get real progress, sometimes you need to just ask for help. Um, and asking for help can look so different for each person. Now we wanted to make a way to make it available to get you guys the training that you would need to help master your machine and then the support. Obviously, if we did not have a product to support the over 315,000 YouTube subscribers we have, praise the Lord, thank God for all of you. Cause we really do feel like we make an impact, um, in the world. So it's so much fun, but it's okay to ask for help. So that's why we have Makers Gonna Learn. And that's why we want you guys to know it's okay to ask for help. You can email us hi at makersgonnalearn.com and any of your cricket questions, and we will do our best to reference you and get you the support that you need. Um, and it's so much fun. So how many crickets should I have? If Should I buy another one? That is totally up to you. Um, but tonight I really want to invite you all. If you have not thought, if you've not considered joining our membership, I would definitely consider this. My friends, you get the 30 day challenge to master your machine today. You get this self-paced program, $97 value included in the year membership. Um, so yay. I love it. Do you have a class to get SVG into design space? Rebecca on day number do, 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 do. Um, day number one, two, three, four, five. Day number five, you're actually going to walk with us on downloading your cut files and working them into Cricut. So how to download SVGs and PNGs and then use them in Cricut Design Space. That's in day number five. So we love being able to serve you guys and help you make sure it's awesome. Um, what is the membership for new here? Hey, Sam. So definitely click the link with me. It's the first link down below. Um, I'm linking it here as well. Our year membership, you can save. It's the lowest price we ever have it all year long right now. So you use the coupon code BEST, B-E-S-T. That is going to give you the best price of the year. Um, and you're going to get our access to 4,000 plus cut files, our commercial license, our over 500 fonts. And when you say yes to membership today, you're going to craft with us for a full 365 days. So it's kind of like you're pre-ordering all the new releases every single Thursday. So we release new fonts once a month, new cut files twice a month. Um, we have a member requested area where you get to give suggestions. And then every month we have a whole member request um, release. So it's super fantastic. 
But you also get this amazing 30-day challenge as a free gift because our goal is to help you master your machine. Because if you cannot master your machine, here's what happens. You're not going to use the cut files we give you or you're not going to be able to make the projects that you see all over the online that we love using our artwork. So we want to make sure you guys can master your machine. That's why we're giving you this 30 day challenge, this $97 value as a free gift to you when you say yes to your membership. Um, num secret number two was learn group attach weld first. Um, do I need to pay for Cricut Design Space membership? <sighs> I'm so glad you're asking that question because a big misconception is that you have to pay for Cricut Design Space. If you do not have a Cricut yet, you can create a Cricut Design Space account and learn the software before you get a machine without paying a dollar. You can have a Cricut and never purchase Cricut Access because the software is completely free. You do not have to have Cricut Access. Cricut Access is very much like Netflix for Cricut. Um, you get access to a bunch of cut files. But again, if you are not able to take it out of the machine, who even needs Cricut Access because you don't know how to use it? So Maker's Learn is very different than Cricut Access. And we offer cut files. We offer 4,000. We do not try to compete with the over 100,000 Cricut has because we work on developing really solid collections. So yay, um, so Cricut Design Space is free. A lot of people do not know it's free. <laughs> if you're already a member you're, and you're a year member, be signed into the website, click courses, and you're going to see the Master Your Cricut um, product, like little image under my courses. It's already there for your members. Um, and yes, this is an amazing thing to save up for the year membership. Guys, it's 41 cents a day, which is incredible um, to be able to craft along with us. And it is so much fun. Oh my goodness. Can you use the free cut files after the paid the year, um, after the paid year? So Julie, for Cricut Access, after you cancel your Cricut Access, you do not get the cut files anymore. With Makers Gonna Learn, it, whatever cut files you download during your year membership, you get forever. So as long as you keep that. So yay. Jennifer says, I pay for Cricut Access. So you're saying use the membership you're talking about. And how do we get a Cricut Access free? I will buy your membership now if I don't have to pay for access. So Jennifer, you do not have to pay for Cricut Design Space. Cricut Access is a different membership just for their artwork. So you can use the software. Um, a lot of people think access and design space are the same thing. It's just not. Um, so if you're needing help to use your amazing machine, I highly recommend our membership, Makers Gonna Learn, because um, you're gonna get this in the year membership completely free. So we love that. Um, and it's so much fun. So yay! Where can I find a Cricut, uh, Martha Stewart Cricut? This was part of a special release and I worked with Michaels to help them launch it. Um, I don't think it's available anymore. Um, yay, Jennifer, we're so excited to have you in the membership, joining over 9,000 like-minded crafters. You're going to love the membership. Yay, I love it. I love it. So much fun. Guys, this is a great time. If you have questions about Cricut, if you have questions about anything related to next steps, anything like that, now is a great time to ask them. This is not normal to have a, like a pretty much a cricket expert at your disposal. That is what I'm here for. So please ask me your questions and I'll try to answer them. Um, Carla says Maker School Learn is sufficient. They have amazing fonts and SVGs. Yay! Julie says, honestly, is it better to pay for Cricut's membership or y'all's money versus what you get? So I am definitely biased because I've built Makers Gonna Learn and I made sure to give it everything that I know you guys need for an amazing price. But I want other members to answer that. So if you're a member um, and you would like to help answer Julie's question, I would much rather you guys in the comments give Julie feedback from a membership perspective on what you think. Um, 
I will drop the customer service email if you need help. Um, it's hi at makersmalern.com. Diane says, what has stopped me is your Facebook community. I am to know if you have any alternative. Um, Diane, here's the secret. So our Facebook group is so good. And when members tell me they don't want a Facebook, they don't have a Facebook, here's what I recommend. And we've had people do this and they love it. Make a fake Facebook using some alias just to get access to our Facebook group. Because the goal, like the gold that's in that group, the community, the love, the fun in our Facebook group. Now I get it. Social media is the devil. But our little, our little corner, our little corner over here in the internet is magical. It's so beautiful. Yay. Connie says, I bought the year membership, but will probably be January before I jump in. I've been using my Cricut for a while, but I'll definitely want to use it more. Yay. Stan says, I ordered their maker and the mini press. Do I need a larger press? If so, which size do you recommend? I say, and this could be uncommon, that mini easy press is going to be your best friend. And don't worry about getting another one until you feel the need. I purchased, Vicky purchased the year. Yay. Go to my courses, go click on courses and you'll see it under my courses. Online or in-class programs, which is the best for me? Um, I love our online training. It is so good. Uh, Suzette gave a lot of thumbs up for Makers Google Learn. Yay. Everyone is so nice on Facebook. Just signed up for annual. So excited. Kathleen, welcome, welcome, welcome. Your mother should have given you water bottles as a child that didn't contain BPA. Victoria, honey, I, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Tanner, what do you think about the brat pad? Ooh, Cecilia, I've seen that question twice and I've ignored it, but I'll address it now that I read it. I think, now I am in a studio with a lot of light, a lot of light. So for me, it's not the most practical use. I would recommend the brat pad for people that are in low light situations that truly are crafting in the dark. <laughs> if you're not crafting in the dark and you can craft in the daylight or you have substantial light, um, you will love it. So, yay. But if you have a lot, I don't recommend it. Okay. Hey, Vanessa, is the Cricut Joy worth it? That is definitely up to you. Um, for me, it's not. So with the membership, all three booklets are included. Just signed up and was hoping for those helpful tools. Krista, yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You get this booklet. And guys, you get so many more amazing ones. You get a iOS guide. You get a Cricut printable guide, which you've seen featured in our videos. You get that as well. So Master Your Cricut 30-Day Challenge is under my courses. The jewels and even more gems, click on dashboard and look under member resources. What vinyl should I use printables? Um, Cricut iOS God is there and so much more. The, the sales page has literally all the details. Um, Chelsea Tanner, I'm looking to start crafting a business. And if Makers Learn has a course, we do. We have an amazing program called Design Make Sell. It is not open right now. But I will tell you, we are kicking the year off right. And it may include Design Make Sell. And it may include free training. So if you love that and want to build a business using your Cricut, definitely, definitely Stay tuned because there will be some chitter chatter coming very soon. <sighs> Yay, I purchased your yearly, Teresa. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Rachel is joining. Love it, love it. Heather says, I have the brat pad waste of money for me. She said it. <laughs> if you're waiting on the mat, then you don't really use the brat pad, but there are some, it could be helpful. Amanda, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you, my friend. Okay. How do you get glitter vinyl to stick to anything, especially transfer tape? Delane, you use a strong grip transfer tape. That would be the only secret. <gasps> Carla says, I have just started Design Make Sell and wow. <gasps> Allie says, OMG, yes, I can't wait to be able to afford Design Make Sell. Allie, Christmas money, put some, in by, put some back because we, let's just say during my quarantine, I have been revamping, I have been modifying I've been improving um, and we're so excited. So yay. Can I cancel Cricut Access and still have access to Design Space? 
Yes, Cricut Access does not take away design space. It would just take away the images that have the little Cricut Access logo beside it. Um, yay, I love it. Lisa says, I'm in. I feel like your team, I feel like I know your team through your YouTube videos. You're going to love our membership, y'all. I literally, it is the my favorite thing for Cricut newbies because we literally build it for the avid cricketer. I purchased a year membership about six weeks ago. I have done nothing with the membership. Do I get the free 30-day challenge free? Yes, Vicki. Go sign in, click courses, and get started. Make sure you start using it. I love it. If you feel like you don't have good lighting or maybe you don't have the best eyesight, the Cricut Bright Pad may be perfect for you. Um, if you see here... I have a bunch of lights, like I have that light and so many others. It's just not great for me personally. I found your Facebook page just waiting to get approved. Yay! Our team works um, seven days a week and we just added a customer care rep to work Tuesday to Saturday from noon to 8 p.m. Eastern because we found a lot of people needing customer service help in the evenings when they're home crafting. So we've tried to add customer service to different ships. Um, yes, the brat pad is helpful. Yay, I love it. Just purchase, Maker's Gonna Learn. Woohoo, Chelsea, we're so excited. Yay. I need another pin pin tutorial. I just got one and it's not great. I assume it's operator's error. Allie. Rachel, in the beginning, did not like the, the pin pin tool and neither did I. But... It's all about, like, you just have to work with it. Just weed something really impressive. Um, Tanner, what is your favorite maker project? What is the best blanket material to use for iron-on? Ooh, I really like the fluffy, I forget what it's called. Courtney would know the material for the blankets. But any fluffy, like, furry material, you can iron on. But when you peel it up, it's going to feel like it's moving. Because it is but it's still adhered down. So any, almost anything you can iron on really. Yay, I love it. Sherpa, yes, I love Sherpa. I'm gonna Google it just to make sure it is Sherpa. Sherpa. Yeah, I love ironing on Sherpa, but what happens is, is that you peel it and it feels like it moves, but after you just like trust yourself, um, you'll see that it, it sticks down. So yay, I love it. I love it. I love it. Have been a yearly member for three years. Tammy, I love you. Yes. If you're on the fence, take the leap and tell yourself Merry Christmas. Amen. Here's the deal, y'all. You invest $400 into the machine and material. I think that's a good rough number. Probably more. If you're not investing into a community to teach you how to use it, to get the most out of your machine, we know we can help you master your machine and up your crafting in 30 days. There's no way you're not going to be able to when you take the training, when you take the projects and you just have fun with it. I mean, we have live streams all the time that you can just plug into, fast forward through and so much fun. Can I sell the images from the subscriptions for cash? Troop L, you are not able to sell our digital artwork. You are able to take an image make awesome projects like these and sell these. But you cannot take a digital image of ours and try to sell it. That is when my attorney will send you a cease and desist and that would not be fun. Um, iron versus press. Uh, a easy press would be much better and much more preferred. I mastered design space on how to change character clothes to designer outfits using just design space and skin colors. Yes. Okay. Um, angel policy. Yes, definitely take a look at that. So Chelsea says, what does the commercial license do for me? I love that question. The commercial license allows you to take, say, this piece of image. You can use it up to 500 times. Every, like each image up to 500 times. Like each for one image mass produced up to 500. So that's a lot. Um, and make money from it. So you can take our art, take our image, cut it out on your machine up to 500 times for each image. It has its own count. Um, and yeah, you can, you can use it and put it on there and it's commercial. That's your commercial license. When your commercial license expires is when your membership expires. So if you do not have an active year membership, you're all, all that happens to your cut falls that you've downloaded 
it goes from a commercial use license to a personal use license. So you can still make things for your friends and family. You just can't sell them. So yay. <laughs> How do the people on Etsy sell Disney sport teams? And that's copyright. That is very true. Um, they, they um, are very um, on the edge of getting copyright strikes. Also, if you see anyone out there selling Disney images, marketing Disney images, any anything like that, my friends, that is copywritten. And no matter what people say, to my knowledge and understanding from my attorney and the legal research that my team and I do, you, um, there is no way any person should be selling Disney uh, inspired images. Um, so please be careful. So please be careful and just do your own research. And when you do the research, you're going to see that things that you may hear on the internet from people that sell Disney cut falls are not true. Um, so just be careful. Do you all have quarantine cut falls? Yes, we do have quarantine cut falls. And I just want to share with you all real quick. If you look at our quarantine cut falls and say, Tanner, it seems a little insensitive. My friends, I just want you to know from the bottom of our entire team's heart that we are just wanting to make the best out of the situation um, and, you know, share, share a love, like just to have fun with it. We're not trying to, um, you know, like try to make it anything less. So we do have awesome quarantine cut falls you can check out. We, we had a lot of fun making them. So I think you all will enjoy them a lot. Um, so yay. I love it. We're doing well. Thank you guys so much for asking. Okay. Y'all any last questions, please let me know. I'm about to have to head off here. It's 10 17 and I promise myself I'm going to be in bed early. Um, cause I have a full day of meetings tomorrow. So I'll be sitting. If I manipulate makers to learn designs and sell them, does it affect the commercial license? It sure does not. I want this year to go. Oh, we do have great cut falls you can do for uh, quarantine ornaments. Yay. Unless you have a written agreement with a licensed company, it is illegal for anyone to sell licensed merchandise. Yep. How long is the new member deal available? Annette is available until Christmas, but I want to help you all master your machine before the holidays, because I feel like Christmas is the only time that there is a set deadline for your gifts, for your decor, and so much more. So if you are wanting to master your cricket today, my friends, we want to walk with you. We want you to join the over 9,000 amazing, beautiful souls that have said yes to Makers and Learn. For 42 cents a day, you can be a yearly member, brand new cut falls, access to help, access to everything you need to truly master your machine. It sounds too good to be true because it truly is. Makers Gonna Learn is going to bring all together the different aspects of your Cricut that you need help on from the confusing parts to the art. You're not going to be having to buy cut falls on Etsy for like $5 a cut fall. It is going to be so much fun. So I want you guys to say yes and join all the other friends that have said yes during this live stream. We don't want you to end this live stream and not have a game plan. Because what happens is that people love live streams and then they they drop off, they, they don't have a game plan. I really highly recommend you click the first link, click the link I just dropped. If you need um, help to go make sure to get your membership so that you have an action step plan. You know what I'm saying? Start the 30 day challenge. We've had people complete all 30 days in like, a few days at self place and so much fun. Nikki, I love sublimation. Julie says, please look at my comment on my previous mat and design space is correct. But when I go to make it, the letters are mixed up. What do I do? Julie select all the images on your canvas on the, pre like before the preview mat, um, make sure you attach it together so that all those layers are going to stay exactly in place and then try pressing, make it. Great question. Do you have videos on in, um, fusible ink? Yes, we do have videos. We do have monthly plans. You can be a monthly member, but monthly members do not get the 30 day challenge. So this is $97 available. 
Um, Victor says your site is busy tonight trying to get in. Oh no. Maybe give it an extra second. Oh, I love your channel. Yay. I'm so excited. So, so much fun. So good. Your video on burning wood with a Cricut stencil is amazing. Thank you, Susan. Found the channel yesterday and I'm dying to buy a Cricut. Thank you for these videos. I was nervous to buy one because they look difficult, but now I think I'll get one. Magical girl for life. Honey, you're magical. You're going to love Cricuting. And I think the projects you like craft are going to bring a lot of magic to your friends and family. So highly recommend. What do you think about the silhouette? I like the silhouette, but it's just not for me. <laughs> <gasps> Nikki, you inspired me to start my business. Yay! The membership is well worth it. I also referred a couple of friends. Woohoo! Do you know of a food safe finish that can be used over vinyl on wood? I do not think so. <laughs> Gloria says, I love your program, but you talk too long. Sorry. You don't have to be sorry. That is totally fine. That's the best part about our membership. I have videos that are me of like three to five minutes short to the point helps you with where your problem is and you can move on other people like to hang out and craft and chat that is who we're here tonight yay i love it i love it i'm purchasing a year i have to learn lots my eight-year-old wants to start a little business together erica that is so cute please post pictures please update me on how it goes and please let me know if we can help you um but yay congratulations on your membership I love it. All right, guys, thank you so much. This has been such a fun, fun live stream. Seriously, so probably one of my favorites in a long time. It's It's been good. Um, thank you guys so much. If you are considering membership, and I know there's a few of you still out there that are thinking, mm, do I need to invest? Mm, $150 seems like a lot. I promise you, once you get in there, you're going to be like, y'all, this boy is undercutting himself, underpricing because I know it. <laughs> um, but I think it's a great price. And I think it's a price that, you know, when you put some skin in the game, you're going to be able to rock it. So we are so excited. When is the next live? We are going live tomorrow at, I have a meeting at two o'clock at 1230. We're going live at 1230 Eastern. Get the membership. It's worth it. Yay. I love it. Guys, thank you so, so much for an amazing hanging out. Um, I love getting to hang out with you guys and for 440 people, it is amazing. So thanks guys so much for being such a great group. Thank you guys so much for everything. We love serving you and you give us the best job in the world. So thank you guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic Sunday evening for the ones that are still on the fence about membership. Email us, message me on Instagram, Tanner Bell 1023 um, if you have questions. I tried to get the deal, but didn't look like I could get the deal. It said it didn't work with that deal. So the best coupon code only works for the best value year membership. It does not work on monthly. Oh, I love these late night lives. Yes, I love these late night lives too. We'll see you guys tomorrow. You all are awesome. 1023, is that your birthday? Yes, I love it. I love it. Um, message me on Instagram. Email hi at makersmillern.com for customer service. But I want to see you in the Facebook group tomorrow. So be sure to join tonight, post in the group when you get approved tomorrow and say I joined during Tanner's live last night. So much fun. Good night. Yes, you're, you Tanner is why I bought my cricket season. You're awesome. Okay, I am recovering and I'm super excited. But thank you guys. Have a great one. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 1230 Eastern. Have a great one. Bye, friends. Thank <laughs> you.